still take profit one, right? Price goes here, give me bullish CVD divergences in, instead of bearish. And I say, yes, this has a pretty, pretty good chance for the price to move to daily open, previous day point of control, uh, the top daily, which could be another take profit one, right? So that would be something to, to give me confidence. But this is not exactly what one would like to see for more upside. Obviously, I could be wrong and I mean, the volume, okay, it's, it's better, but you can see in this area of the chart right now, this is not too much volume. What that means that someone could actually move the, uh, the market with not a lot of money, right? So you can see 7 million here, the price already moved 0.5%. Okay. And it could be worse to, to be honest. The, the volume is, it's kind of low, you know, right now it's today is it's better it's decent but still overall we do have low uh volume here okay uh let's talk about the new levels that we have on the chart and then we we get back to actually to what happened here because that was there is a lot let me put it this way there is a lot to learn from that experience but let's talk about um new levels first Okay, so let's go to daily time frame to see what's going on here. And as you can see, let me hide this one too, uh, the fixed range. As you can see, we do have a new daily level here, right? So that would be this one, 16,675. Uh, Untap daily level right on the point of control of this range. So, you know, that's, that's good. Uh, in terms of weekly, nothing here obviously uh, we do have this one but this is a bit higher right moving back to one hour time frame let's put back everything that we do have on the chart here and also let's put this level so um, okay so we do have this one this stays definitely stays this is our uh, resistance this is our support this has good confluence with the point of control Okay, so this is a good daily, 16,675, good. We still have this one, right? I would I would keep that one too. And we do have this one, 17,147. I would keep that one too, that's important. And also have this one, this is an untapped daily level, 17,555. So we do have a lot of levels. Good, that's good in my opinion, because we do have the possibility to check the reaction in terms of strength or weakness, right? Like I said, this is a very, very good example and I, I will get to that in just a moment. Okay, let me put this one here and let's hide this for a moment. Moving to naked point of control, starting with the, with the daily, right? We can see that we do have this one and that would be this uh, daily uh, level 16,512. And if we enable the, the horizontal levels like this, we can see that we do have this one. And the next one is actually this one, 17,287, right? So you can see this one. And after that, this one. Moving on this template that I'm using to um, for weekly naked point of control, we also we can see that we do have a new weekly naked point of control, right? So that is another level. Let me put back this one in here. And the weekly naked point of control, same area, just a bit above, that would be 16,545, right? So we do have quite a bit of confluences in that area. So that's good, right? The point of control here. So to daily naked point of control on tap daily. So, you know, this area could be, I mean, if the price managed to, to claim that, that daily, right, then this area should be the next, let's say important area on the chart. Yeah, it could be, but we're not quite there yet. The price is still fighting here with, um, with VWAP. Okay. Uh, no, I want to do it like this. Cool. I want to keep the daily level. So those are the, the new daily and weekly uh, naked points of control. Let's see what we have 
on this template. This is Igor session template. And in here I can see only one, the volume and the time 16,835. Obviously everything in this area was cleared and we still have this one. Obviously to the, to the upside, we do have uh, the time naked session point of control, 17,765 and the, the volume 17,885, but they're a bit far away. I'm interested first in this one and then obviously to, to the top area. Right. So let's check again what's going on in here. Okay, so we do have a bit of a battle here, some short openings, some longs opening, but overall nothing much going on here, right? One thing that it is important, right, and I think I talked about this many, many times, it is always good to, to have the same divergences on the CCTR template and or the uh, order flow template. So here you can see we do have some bearish CVD divergences. Okay. And on this one, not so much, right? So the, the perfect situation, okay. On this one we do have, so it is good to always to check what's going on. Best case scenario, you want to have the same kind of divergences. Sometimes you, you can see like in this situation, and again, depending on the, um, on the settings that you're using, Sometimes you can see here that we do have some, well, not bearish sensitivity divergences, but on this template we, we do have, so we do have the same situation as on the order flow template. So if you have the, the two templates showing you the same kind of um, divergences, that is another confirmation for, for, your, for your trade. Okay. So this is what we, we have right now. I mean, for me, this is not a surprise, to be honest. Um, maybe the surprise was a bit here because I was expecting a bigger reaction here. But the problem, the problem here was the following. The problem was this one. Remember? And if you are in the, in the champions group, I said, we have a couple of minutes until ES open, so we need to check that for more clarity. The open was somewhere in this area, right? So the open, as you can see, that was very, very weak, right? So, you know, that, in my opinion, you know, influenced the, um, the, the Bitcoin chart. And let's go to 15 minutes to talk about just a bit what, what happened here. Okay, let's put the, the ranges back. Uh, let's put this one as it was at that point in time. All right, something like this. Okay, so this is what we had on the on the chart there. So we had this wick, right? And obviously in this situation, if you are there, let me check it on the, um, let me check on this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get the timestamp. Yeah, should be this one, right? Okay, cool. So we are here. Remember daily, 16,300, somewhere in this area, right? Great. So you all know I was expecting for, for this area, like I said, here, long or no trade based on the reaction and everything that happened. Okay, so I missed this move right because this happened quite fast and in a situation like this if you miss the first move obviously you're not going to long here you're always you want to wait for a retracement right so this kind of situation you can pull the fibs from something like this low to high cc right when the price goes here right price goes here oh you start to see selling 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 Right, the possibility of some trapped shorts here again, not so much because the volume is relatively low. You start to see buying, 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 you know, that is your trade. But in the same situation, right, you do acknowledge that we are actually below this daily, 
right? So like I said, these daily claims. So instead of this, give me something like this, right? So instead, let's say you traded this one. Instead of this, give me something like this. And then one would say, yes, the possibilities for more upside are possible, right? But in this kind of situation, we can see clearly that resistance, resistance, right? Back to here. So when you see something like this, so 